TV and media lately has been suffering, which is why a lot of people have been turning to books to stay entertained. I read a lot of books and stuff. People just aren't watching TV anymore. I don't watch TV. Lately, people have been turning more and more to literature for their entertainment needs. And that actually presents us dropshippers with a very lucrative opportunity to help people stay stocked up with multiple different books. The variety of different types of books there are is never ending. There's a book for every single category and every single niche. There's a book for every single niche out there. What? From cooking to entrepreneurship, succeeding in life, self-help books, graphic novels, Japanese manga, there's tons of different books that you can offer literally to every single person. Well, maybe not everyone because there's a few people that don't necessarily like reading, but the people that do like reading, love reading. I know people that literally have bookshelves upon bookshelves upon bookshelves filled with books. They have entire collections. So people do not mind spending money on books. And honestly, these aren't cheap, especially the hardcover versions. A hardcover version can sometimes run anywhere between 35 to $50, depending on the book, while a softcover version can run anywhere between maybe five to 25, again, depending on the book. So there's some pretty good profit margins to be made. So books are gonna be trending for the most part year round, depending on the genre, but niched books. So certain books in certain categories are gonna be trending more at certain times throughout the year. So take cookbooks, for example. According to Google Trends, cookbooks actually peak at December. So December, 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 and December. For the past five years, cookbooks have been at their max searches on Google in December. Now, that doesn't mean that that's when we need to start offering our cookbooks. We actually need to start offering them a little bit before that. So around September to October, that's more or less the time that we need to start stocking up our stores with different types of cookbooks. So that way, when peak season comes, we're ready and filled with a bunch of different types of books that people are going to be looking for. In this case, a bunch of different types of cookbooks. One of the reasons that this is trending during this time is because a lot of people like to start cooking for either November, Thanksgiving or December for Christmas and New Year's. You know, food brings people together. Food brings families around the table. So a lot of people, moms and dads in particular, are going to be looking for different types of cookbooks so that way they can learn different recipes to offer their families during these festive and full times of years. Now take self-help books, for example. So self-help books have a somewhat similar trend. They don't have as big peaks as cookbooks do, but they still have their peaks. They do trend more or less throughout the entire year, but they have particular times throughout the year where they really do peak and they have the highest amount of sales. And in this case, it's again, December, the end of December to the beginning of January, end of December, beginning of January, beginning of January and beginning of January. Why? Well, the only thing that I can think of, why are self-help books so popular at the beginning of the year? Because of New Year's resolutions. New year, new me, right? Everyone has a New Year's resolution that they want to accomplish. A lot of the times it's to better themselves, to start their own business, to start drop shipping, and to succeed in life, which is the major factor into why these books are trending during this time of year. Now, I use Google Trends for absolutely everything, and if you want the link directly to this, then just check out our cheat sheet. To go along with this video, I am going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet. All you have to do to gain access is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag books, and let me know which one of the genres in this video is your favorite. Which one is the one that you're planning to actually start implementing into your drop shipping store? which one do you want to start selling? All of the links to the different categories, the different genres, and the different books that I'm going to be talking about in this video, including the links to the different resources, such as Google Trends, are going to be in that cheat sheet. So again, if you want access, just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag books, and let me know which one of the genres is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. So now that you know what kinds of books are trending and how you can find out whether or not different types of genres are trending, now we can go ahead and start the countdown for the top books that you should be drop shipping. So I'm going to give you six different genres, but with Within those six different genres are going to be a few different subcategories of books that you can offer. So we're going to niche down pretty thoroughly. So make sure you check out this video all the way through to find out what books are best to dropship. Some of these different books might be aligned with what you're trying to do or with the theme of your dropshipping store. So make sure you stick around all the way to the end. And with that, let's go. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I'm going to be giving you a few different suppliers where you can source your books from. Okay, now let's go. So the first category on this list is going to be arts and entertainment books. And some of the top niches within that category are going to include performing arts books. Now, these books really can vary on what you're looking into. So these are all going to be completely different from each other. While all of them are going to have to do with performing arts, they're all going to be a little bit different within the things that they actually talk about. So take, for example, one book can be about dancing. Now, one book can help you get into the mentality of dancing. It can help you with 
with, things that you need to keep in mind, or different tips and tricks to help you out along the journey. While another book can be all about the form of dancing. So it can give you actual tips and tricks on how to become a better dancer. Another one can help you out with how to feel the rhythm a little bit better, how to go along with the music, while others can just be purely inspirational stories from professional dancers. Of course, performing arts books are not going to be limited to just dancing. There's going to be a lot more, such as improv, the art of performance, acting, things along that nature. Design books are up next, and design books can focus on a few different design tactics or design techniques. There could be graphic design, interior design, exterior design, designing clothing for fashion. There's a lot of different things that you can design, and there's a lot of different books to help you out in this particular niche as well. The next one is one that is actually very popular and lately has been making waves, and that is adult coloring books. Adults get stressed. There is a lot going on in our lives from work to kids to responsibilities, things we got to do for school, for our kids' school, things we got to do for work. There's just too much going on in an adult's life. And because of that, some people like to de-stress in different ways. Some people like to have a little bit of a drink. Some people like to watch some TV. Some people like to read and others like to color. Now, of course, an adult coloring book is going to be a lot different than a typical child's coloring book in the sense that it's going to be, for one, a bit more complicated. Two, it's going to have a lot more details and the themes are going to be completely different. So because of that, there's a ton of different adult coloring books to choose from. One of the best places that I found when it comes to adult coloring books to source them has to be Amazon. Remember that Amazon actually started off as a bookstore. Amazon was originally an online marketplace for books. So that's why for these past few categories, I've actually been showing you Amazon as a supplier. Amazon for one has extremely fast shipping as everyone knows. It is probably the king of shipping. Two, they have outstanding customer service and three, they have really good prices overall. So one of the top suppliers in our list of top book suppliers is going to be Amazon. Now, if you haven't noticed, I am trying a little bit of a different format today. I'm going to be mixing in different suppliers as I talk about these different books. So right now I'm going to be talking about Amazon. Later on, I'm going to be talking about a different supplier with a different genre of books and so on. If you like this, if you like how I'm structuring this video now, let me know down in the comments below because I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I want to know whether or not you're actually finding this entertaining and if this is something that you're liking. So if you like this format of video, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you prefer my older format of doing things, so giving you the list of top 10 books and then giving you the top six suppliers. If you prefer it that way, let me know all down in the comments below. All right, let's keep going. Now, aside from those categories that I just talked about, a few strong contenders in the arts and entertainment niche are going to include interior home design books, tattoo idea books, pop culture books, painting books, fashion books, photography books, and sketchbooks. Now, as a quick tip, when it comes to some of these different categories, let's say, for example, coloring books, or even sketchbooks, a great way to increase your profits is whenever you're offering these books, always try to offer as an add-on pencils or coloring pencils or crayons, something that can go along with it so that way it can increase your average order value. Trust me when I say that when people are looking to purchase everything from one store, people prefer to actually make a purchase from one store only rather than going to your store, making a purchase for the book, then going to Amazon and making a purchase for their coloring pencils and then maybe buying something else along with it. So if you can offer other relevant products to your current products, in this case, pencils or coloring pencils for your sketchbooks or your coloring books, or maybe even bookmarks for your reading books, then this is a great way to be able to make a couple of extra books. Up next, our second niche is going to be fiction books. Now, one thing that you need to know about fiction books is that fiction means completely imaginatory. It's completely fake. These are all made up stories. Kind of makes you confused with fiction and nonfiction, doesn't it? For some reason, growing up, whenever I heard nonfiction, I thought nonfiction was not real, but it's actually the complete opposite. Not fiction means real and fiction means not real. When I found this out, my mind was absolutely blown. Let me know if you knew the difference down in the comments below. But when I was a kid, I would always reference nonfiction books the wrong way. Again, I would always think that nonfiction meant not real. But to clear things up, nonfiction means real, fiction means not real. So this next category is not real books or fiction books. Fiction books are absolutely huge sellers, especially with kids and with schools. These types of books really spark the imagination or can really spark the imagination of what's going on in the life of one of the characters in your books. Fiction books are also the biggest genre of books out there. Currently, fiction books take about 52% of the entire book market. That's a lot of imagination. Now, when it comes to fiction books, romance books have to be one of the best sellers out there 
period. People love romance books because they love to fantasize about what could have been, right? It's kind of the same thing about what happens with romance movies. People watch it, or in this case, people read it. They tear up, they laugh, they cry. They become one with the character and they just get very involved with the books. My wife being one of those people, she absolutely loves romance books along with mystery and true crime, which are actually two other categories in this list, but we'll get to those in a little bit. So romance books are definitely one of the best sellers when it comes to this category. Mystery books are also a fantastic option. People love getting lost in the mystery of the books, what's going on. They start to wonder. It really sparks their imagination. Mystery books really help people get lost in the book itself. Fun fact, did you know that most movies actually started off as books, even if they don't announce it on the trailer or throughout the movie itself? One of my favorite ones when it comes to mystery has to be Shutter Island. Welcome to Shutter Island. When I first saw the movie, I was absolutely dumbfounded. I thought the movie was a complete masterpiece. I loved it. I loved the acting from Leonardo DiCaprio. But then I found out that it was actually based on a book. When I read that book, my entire mind was absolutely blown. The book is so much better than the movie. It has so much more detail. And that is one reason why a lot of people actually prefer going to the literature side of things versus the more mainstream media side of things like movies or TV shows. Books really give you the ability to include a lot more detail. And at the end of the day, the reader can view things the way that they see it. Everyone sees things in their own personal ways. So that's one reason why a lot of people turn to books rather than media as well. But aside from that, thriller books are also another major category. People love the thrill of reading certain things. People love the thrill of anticipating of what's coming up next. And speaking of thriller books, one of the best sellers right now is actually The Housemaid. It's funny that I see it right here because it actually currently has five stars and it only has 49 reviews on Walmart. But this is the book right here. And when my wife started reading this book, she was absolutely gone for a few days. She finished the book super fast and she told me that it was an absolutely amazing book. She was recommended to it through TikTok. So one great tip that I'm going to give you when it comes to finding what books are trending is go on TikTok. TikTok has everything. Look up hashtag book talk or hashtag what books to read and you're going to find a bunch of different videos with a bunch of different creators all talking about their favorite books. Look for the videos that have the higher view counts, the ones that have the more comments and start taking a few examples from those videos. See what they're recommending and see if you can offer those in your store. Now as you can see for this supplier instead of Amazon I decided to go with Walmart. Now Walmart is a fantastic supplier for pretty much absolutely anything. But when it comes to books, they have a pretty extensive selection. On top of that, one of the best things from Walmart is the fact that they have the price match guarantee. So if you sell a hardcover book from your store and you're sourcing it from Walmart, let's say you paid $35 for it and the very next day it goes on sale down to $25. What happens in this case is you can contact Walmart. You can let them know, look, I made this purchase yesterday. Here's my receipt. This is my proof of purchase. Can you please refund me the difference? And they'll do so. You'll get the difference between the sale price and the retail price. And that in itself can help you save a couple of extra bucks gives you a bit more profit or if you don't want to take the profit and you want to help out your customers you can pass on the savings to them but that is a price match guarantee and i think it is a fantastic service that walmart offers on top of that they have extremely fast shipping since they have warehouses all over the place a lot of the times they can offer next day shipping or at the very least two day shipping they always have some sort of discount going on on a particular niche of their products whether it be books or electronics or whatever else it may be so aside from those three categories a few others that you can offer are going to include science fiction and fantasy action and adventure poetry and true crime. Now, as a quick tip to all of you, when it comes to these particular types of books, you can always offer some sort of freebie to go along with it to be able to increase your customer loyalty. Give them a surprise. If they don't order a bookmark, surprise them with a free bookmark with their order, something that's relevant to the book that they're purchasing. So you can give them a bookmark or you can give them a type of clip that serves as a type of bookmark as well. Up next, we have history books. Now, history I know is not for everyone, especially Let's say for me, because I pretty much slept throughout my entire high school history class. Yeah, it's safe to say that I actually failed that class and I had to go to summer school. But if I had some of these books during that time, then I probably would have passed. They make it a lot more interesting than, you know, history class. Now, history books are quiz time, fiction or nonfiction. I'm going to give you two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three more seconds, three, four, five. They're nonfiction. Remember, nonfiction means real. Fiction means not real. So history books are going to be a non-fictional genre. So pretty much everything that you read in these history books are going to be actual events. These types of books document and analyze past events. So that way you can start becoming more educated on certain things that happened and start forming your own opinions based on what you're reading. Remember, those who don't learn the past are doomed to repeat it. So make sure you brush up on your history books. Now, when it comes to history, there's a lot of different histories that you can start looking into. The first one is going to be probably the most popular one, and that is going to be world history, right? 
right now we're looking through eBay and on eBay you can find a little bit of any type of book. You can find your regular paperback books, you can find hardcover books, and you can find textbooks. Now this is something that's pretty unique because you can't necessarily buy textbooks everywhere. You can't buy them in every single bookstore that you see. Textbooks typically do tend to be a lot of money, but if you purchase them secondhand, they can be a lot cheaper. So in this case, you can offer somewhat of a secondhand market in your dropshipping store. So you can source used world history books and offer them on your store at a discounted price, but of course at a markup from what you're getting them on eBay. Now on eBay, you're going to find a little bit of everything like I mentioned. So you have different types of world history books. Another huge seller, especially amongst veterans in the United States, is going to be military history books. Military history books are going to talk about everything that has to do with the military in the past. So how it started, how it's evolved, how it's branched into different chains and different tactics that were used, different stories of different people. There's a lot that goes into these different types of books, especially when it comes to military history. And trust me when I say there's a lot of military history buffs. A lot of people are very interested in the military. Now, the third genre is going to be modern history. So modern history is something a bit different than your typical average history that goes back forever. Modern history focuses between the 17th and the 20th century in particular. So while your typical history book can take you back to pretty much the beginning of time, modern history is only going to take you back a few centuries. So it's more recent events. Recent. Aside from that, a few other top sellers are going to include US history, World War II books, ancient history, my personal favorite, and European history. Next up, we have children's books. And for this, we're checking out Barnes and Noble. Now, when it comes to children's books, there's a little bit of absolutely everything. You can find coloring books, books to keep kids entertained, books to educate kids on certain topics, history books for kids, coloring books, activity books, math books. There's a lot of different types of books for children. And as I always say, as a parent, a lot of the times parents are not going to care about having to spend a little bit of extra money for their kids' education, for their comfort, or for their entertainment. And that is what makes children books an extremely lucrative opportunity. So the first category of books under children's books that we're going to focus on is coloring books. There is no better way to keep kids entertained other than coloring books. Kids absolutely love coloring. It takes up their time. It sparks creativity and it helps their brains stay active. It also helps them with coordination by teaching them to stay coloring within the lines. When it comes to coloring books, you can find something for every single age range and with every single topic, going from different cartoons to different seasons to different events. Comic books are another wildly popular seller, not just amongst kids, but adults too. I love comic books and pretty much anything that has to do with graphic novels, but these types of books can really range within different age ranges. So some are going to be more appropriate for younger kids, while others will be more appropriate for older kids. So that's one thing that you should keep in mind. And whenever you're offering comic books in your store, try to keep an age range. So don't offer books that could be potentially very graphic or very violent in nature to kids, obviously, but you can offer them to teenagers. It really all depends on the age range and what the book is about. So take, for example, certain superhero books. Some would be more appropriate for adults. Some would be more appropriate for teenagers, while some other ones, the more childish ones would be better for kids. Now, this next one is actually very important and it's geared more towards the younger kids, the younger children, and that is anti-tear cloth books. For the most part, these books are going to be fairly simple. A lot of the times they're not going to have a lot of actual reading. They're going to be more pictures with a few different words. The primary focus on these is for kids to be able to get them, play with them, look through them, check out the different colorful pages, and ultimately not break them. These are going to be geared more towards toddlers and younger kids, and that's why they're anti-tear or tear proof. So whenever they try to just mess around with them and blah, just doing everything that they do with books or with anything else, just getting all crazy and messy with it, they won't accidentally break it. Now, one of the best sellers within this category for kids has to be activity books, primarily because for one, it keeps kids entertained and two, it's educational. A lot of the times these different types of coloring books or activity books are going to have different activities for the kids to do, connecting different numbers, coloring pages, finding words, things like that. So these really help keep a kid's attention. And on top of that, it helps them grow mentally. And that is something that parents are always striving for different types of activities that are educational for kids, in which case books are one of the absolute best options. Aside from that, a few other very popular categories are going to include geography books, which to be completely honest with you, when it comes to kids, some are not going to enjoy it as much as others are. You also have racing letter books, math books, reusable water drawing books, which these are pretty interesting because these books can easily be wiped off 
off, cleaned, and reused. Writing books, dictionaries for kids, of course, not the Webster's Dictionary. ABC workbooks, books with a CD audio, or in this case, now in modern day, MP3 audios, and animal books. So now let's talk a little bit about Barnes & Noble as a supplier. So Barnes & Noble is a legitimate bookstore. They focus only on books, whether that be educational books, history books, graphic novels, thrillers, mystery, whatever it is, you can find it at Barnes & Noble. This is one of the biggest companies when it comes to books, at least in the US. They also have a rewards program and a premium rewards program. So you can get tons of different benefits from these different rewards programs. So just looking into it here really fast, you can see that you get one stamp for every $10 that you spend. Every 10 stamps, you get a $5 reward. Even though that doesn't seem like a lot, when you really start to think about it, if you're drop shipping books and you're getting a good amount of sales every day, then these rewards are gonna start to add up. Now they also do have the paid premium membership, which gets you a lot of other features. Some of them being for one, 10% off pretty much anything in the store, free shipping on all orders and exclusive deals and offers. So you're gonna have different deals on different books that others are not gonna have. The next category on this list is gonna be graphic novels. Now, when it comes to graphic novels, as I mentioned earlier, that's something that I really like. There are different types of graphic novels. They have some that are more comic bookish, which are gonna be the more American type. And then they're gonna have mangas, which mangas are the Japanese graphic novel. These have been making huge waves these past few years, Japanese animation and Japanese books mangas have been doing exceptionally well in Western countries. Anime right now has been taking over the world and a lot of people want to either continue the journey after the show ends or they want to get a head start on it by reading the mangas. Now when it comes to mangas, these are going to be very based off of age. Some are going to be more appropriate for younger kids while others are going to be more appropriate for teenagers and adults. For the most part though, when it comes to these, a lot of them are going to be more geared towards teenagers and adults. Science fiction is the next category and this is wildly popular because it really sparks people's imagination on science, space, and what could potentially be possible. Science fiction, of course, is not real. Again, fiction equals not real, but this has to do primarily in the science space. So here you're gonna find a lot of books based off of science, outer space, things along that nature. Comic books are another type of graphic novel, and these are also gonna be in a few different variations. So you're gonna have the typical comic books that you can read, but you're also gonna have other books that have to do with comic books. Some books can potentially be coloring books, others are gonna teach you how to draw, and others are gonna be the stories themselves. Now here we're actually taking a look at Book Depot as our supplier. Book Depot is a retail and wholesale supplier when it comes to books. And if you sign up for them and you become a wholesaler or a dropshipper, then you can get books at a discounted rate. So taking a look at some of these different prices, you can see that this one's going for $3.25, but the listing price or the retail price is $12.99. Same goes if you scroll down a little bit, check out this Power Rangers. I absolutely love the Power Rangers. You can see that this one's going for $2.81 on this website, but it can be sold at retail price for $16.00. And, 99 cents. and last but certainly not least, we have cookbooks. As you saw earlier when we were talking about cookbooks, cookbooks are going to be trending for the most part, so in between November and December, but you want to get started selling these a couple of months prior. Cookbooks are going to be pretty generic. The differences between each book are going to be, of course, the authors, but also the type of food that's being cooked. So for one, you have general cookbooks, which are going to be cooking method books, which just teach you how to cook. They'll teach you the basics about cooking and everything you need to know to get started. But aside from that, after that, really everything else depends on the type of food that you're trying to cook. So for one, you have regional and ethnic cookbooks, which are going to deal with dishes that are based around the world. So different countries have their own specialty dishes. These types of cookbooks can help you introduce this type of cooking into your lifestyle or into your customer's lifestyle. You also have health and healing cookbooks, quick recipe cookbooks. Some of the most popular quick recipe cookbooks can be those 30 minute cookbooks. So meals that you can prepare in 30 minutes. You also have vegetarian cookbooks, cookbooks for entertaining, vegan cookbooks, cookbooks and American cookbooks. And those are some of the top books along with some of the top book suppliers that you can start using for your dropshipping store right now. Remember when it comes to books, it's going to be a different genre for different people. Some people enjoy mystery. Some people enjoy thriller. Some people enjoy self-help while others like to learn. So this is all going to be very niche specific to what your customers like. So because of that, you want to offer as many variations as you can. And of course, as always, when it comes to your dropshipping store, try to keep it as organized as possible. You want to make sure that with so many different categories of books, whatever your customer is looking for, you want to make sure that it's easy for them to find. Remember to go along with this video, we do have an easy to reference cheat sheet with everything that I mentioned throughout today's video. If you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag books, and let me know which one of these genres was your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It truly means a lot. As always, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And my name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.